my God, this is the most spectacular view. What's up, P Nation? Today we're doing something we wanted to do for a very long time. You're headed across the Golden Gate Bridge to Sausalito, California. And just like that, literally 15 minutes later, we are across the bridge and into Sausalito. We've been transported from the city to literally a community of houseboats here in the bay. It is absolutely spectacular. These homes are super cute. There are 400 of them. And when you think of houseboats, I generally think of like Seattle, Union Lake, right? Mm -hmm. And like you go there and you're like, oh my God, houseboats, like that's so crazy. There are so many here. So like, many here. It's ridiculous, kind of. the water is a lot more clear than I thought it would be and it's really cool they have bridges in between these houses but it's kind of crazy how high they are like the tide must get really really high wow. I can't believe they let you come on the dock we're supposed to keep our masks on so we're gonna keep our masks on I love how this one has a basement a middle story and a top story like these houses are a lot bigger than the ones in Seattle so cute too they're like way more eclectic. Yeah, like this one has a basement, middle, and top too. I didn't know you could have a basement in a houseboat. Is that news to you too? Yes. I heard that there's like this festival that happens where you can come and like pay to take a tour of some of the houses, which I think is really, really awesome. Like I feel like I would be very tempted to do that if we weren't on such a small budget. But yeah, oh my God, like just the fact that they let you come out here. I really thought we were gonna have trouble like getting on a dock to see these houses, but you can just walk right on. This is really cool. Do you rent out like square footage of the water? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I wonder how this works. I heard the houses were a lot cheaper than like the million dollar mansions on the side of the cliff in Sausalito. These ones are cheaper? Yeah. Well, that settles it. I would rather live here on the water. Cactus, we have a Tonga South Pacific statue right here, and then we have stained glass windows. So while this all is very cool, the like creaking and moaning of the docks and the boats would probably drive me insane. <laughs> Don't you think? I wonder what this is for. If someone knows, please explain. So this really is pretty cool. Like some of the docks are like off limits for visitors, but some of the docks are like open to that you know i think people want to like show off their homes because i'm sure there's like a sense of pride of like if your home is really cool like you want people to see it you know what i mean like i made this like there's ownership to it it's not just like a house you buy it's something you create so it's kind of interesting like how every single dock is like its own little community you know, like either you want people to see your house or like you're kind of like wanting your own privacy i'm not really sure which one i would want i'd probably want to show off my house but then there'd be people outside your house all the time so I don't know. Oh, these pups are tired of floating all day. They wouldn't be on the dock. This one definitely belongs in Key West. Look at that sunset painting. And it's got its own little palm tree. This one's got a greenhouse on the back. Kind of looks like a 1980s Wendy's. This one looks like it's straight off the Mekong River in Vietnam. I don't know if we could see any more houses. This was just an amazing part of this day. We are now going to find out how much they float up and down. Apparently there's an Army Corps of Engineer built model that replicates all of San Francisco, but I'm not sure if we can get in. So we're gonna head down the road and see if we can go to that. Okay, and now we've made it to the Army Corps of Engineers like replica of the entire bay here in Sausalito. We just walked in and there was like a couple in front of us and they got greeted by this ranger. I guess, I don't know what you call this, like is this a national park? I don't know. She was like, I'm Ranger Carla. She started spouting off all this like information about how they used this to determine if it was a good idea to put in a series of dams. They wanted to see how that would impact the area because apparently this is one of like the biggest estuaries in the world. It's really hard to see. Like a 24 hour tidal cycle happens here in this replica in 15 minutes. You have to look really hard at the light just to see the water flowing. I hope we can get it on camera because it's actually like this is really 
really interesting. She said something about analog data. I'm not really sure. I'm not an engineer, but I still think this is really, really cool. So you can see that the water's like flowing past these little copper spikes. And you can see that it's like making all these ripples. That means the water's flowing out, right? Is yes. the water flowing out? Yeah, it's yes. flowing. Because the ocean's over there. Here is the first dam. And I guess they would like lower it and try and see what the tide would do. It's just so interesting that like they had to do something so physical, you know? Like they actually had to test it on a scaled down version to see what would actually happen. So here we are right now in Sausalito. And then right over here is the Golden Gate Bridge. It's crazy. Whoa, okay, we got like the shallow Pacific super super deep trench and then it gets shallow again in the bay i didn't realize that it was so deep right here we live like right over there yeah. what the heck look all the way around the pacific ocean wow this is so cool so you can see because of the light that the water's flowing out and what's crazy is there's a huge tank of water over there that's being filled up right now so like this huge tank fills this entire replica and it's just a ton of water like this place is huge that was really cool i know how no one knows about this it's like at the bottom of a hill that no one ever comes to so it's kind of crazy it's just this huge three acre complex and i have walked a lot today so i am very hungry we're gonna head to downtown sausalito to grab lunch the green mountains across the bay bridge and like thinking like oh it's so beautiful but like this is actually the better view to see downtown san francisco is like absolutely gorgeous and i bet it's beautiful at night and you can see the entire bay like this is really awesome All right, and we have just made it to Venice Pizzeria, which is part of the Venice grocery store here. It's right on the water. I literally just saw a seal hop out of the water. Like, this is gonna be the best meal I've had in a long time. We got a pizza, which is like, what? But I guess Salsalito is an Italian word, and we do feel like we're in Italy, except that there's a huge city that would never be in Italy across the ocean slash bay. It is amazing. It's the most beautiful day. This is gonna be probably the best pizza I've ever had just because of you alone is a million dollars. Mmm, very thin crust. Yeah. That's exactly like a Italian pizza actually. I'm kind of, I'm like really impressed right now. The mozzarella is amazing. The crust is super thin and there's just a little bit of marinara sauce on it. But in Italy, we just get this whole thing and then you would slice it and it would be your own pizza. The wind has picked up. We're gonna be so cold because our bodies are digesting that amazing pizza we just had. That was the best pizza I've had in such a long time. I don't know how many times I can say that, but it was seriously <laughs> so good. It was the view. You were skewed by the view. Yeah, it's true. But it was an amazing view. And now we're gonna go to the beach, which I thought was gonna be warm, but it's pretty <laughs> cold here in Sausalito. I think it's like a morning town. If you're coming here, you should have breakfast, not yeah. lunch or dinner, <laughs> because the wind whips up and woo. It's hurricane force winds. Just kidding. Oh, it's so cold. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's the beach, and there's downtown, and there's a ship that's going by, and I don't think we're gonna make it to the beach, but that's the <laughs> beach that I wanted to show you guys because it's right there, but it is so much colder outside than I thought it was. It looks really great. It looks Ooh. like a really great beach. I'm so sad that we didn't get to experience it, but I'm glad we're seeing it right now. And that is it from Sausalito. Today has been amazing. Truly, like I don't think I expected to see anything that we saw today. Yeah. And it was just like, where are we? What is this? How is it so close to San Francisco? So close this to San like Francisco. This is like the best day trip. It really is. Like, Sausalito, and there's even more up here. Like, yeah. we only visited Sausalito when there's like, there's the Muir Woods. There's all the ocean towns too. Mm -hmm. You know, like this is inside the bay. Sausalito's great. The houses were great. The replica of the bay was great. Yeah, I think that was my favorite part. <laughs> it wasn't on the list and it made it on the list and it surprised me. So that's why it was my favorite. Thanks for watching. Like to see downtown, to see downtown, to see, oh my god, to size just as much as it came.
just as much, just as much as it came at. Also, legend has it that Otis Redding's "Sitting on the Dock of the Bay" was written when he was visiting someone's houseboat, like a friend's houseboat. It's probably some famous person, and he wrote that while visiting this place. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm.